Right, um, so it's quarter to five. Um, not, I didn't do that brick on edge. I, didn't, I just see off, I couldn't get my gear. So I'll show you what I'm on today. So we're back, we're back on the houses. So we're back on basically an identical house. That's what you saw me do a couple of months ago. These are pair, semi attached yellow bricks, concrete, but better. Better at least. So I was solo today because I didn't know what I was coming to do. Um, Mel's in rest at week, she's going to be back regular now. And yeah, I'm on this for the next week or so. Um, about 200 bucks here. And uh, yeah, fucking quality service here. Quality service. That was a f This was flat, there was nothing on it at all. Damps everywhere. And uh, I got all my gear when I needed it. A couple of tubs. Beautiful. So, I'm going about this plot a bit different. I'll explain in the next few clips. Uh, but I'm going home because uh, my gaming laptop's arrived. So, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll, uh, tune in for, uh, for the next videos. Hey guys. It's, uh, it's Thursday. It's 3 o'clock, I'm off home. Mel was in today. She's just in car waiting for me. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit late. I got about nine this morning. Fucking sat and I've took me half an hour out of my way. I were driving. Fucking that explains a lot, like. But uh, yeah, so fucking just windy as fuck today. We couldn't get anything done really because I decided to take these from from little bits up. I'll show you what we've done. So yeah, you can see I've got this front up. Start doing a middle wall, corner, both sides. The same on the back, I almost lost the back pillar because it was windy. So I've got it all propped. Um, we're going to do the same with them. We're going to set the first course to the middle wall out and I had to tidy up. So I ain't got any skips, but I'm going to set this first course out and then do a corner, but I couldn't be bothered, so I'll do it tomorrow. Middle wall's the focus tomorrow and brickwork Monday. Alright, i get off. See you in the next clip. So, a little intermission here. Uh, it's Thursday night, just to let you know what I'm doing. Um, sorry Izzy, I know you'd like to see that brick and edge be done. Uh, I'll get plenty more chances to show you how I do brick and edge. I've already, I think I've already done a video, so if you want to check it out, I've got playlists on the channel showing how I do it. Anyway, I'm not on that job anymore. Uh, Tuesday I lost a full day's worth of work. I waited three hours for my gobble and I didn't get it. So I was pissed off and I left. So um, that's why I'm on another job now. Like, I know for other trades or people with normal jobs, might not seem a big deal, you know, you couldn't get materials, you went home, but that's 300 quid I've lost. You know, it is 300 quid, I counted up how much work that was there, it was about 300 quid's worth. Um, I was there early, I was there at like 8, and that's what I've lost. So, so dropped on this plot, and uh, just before this video section gets too long, I'm doing a little bit of a challenge, but it's not really a challenge because anyone who knows watch me has watched me for ages. I build basically everything freehand, corners running them in. So I'm building this whole house uh, with corners and running them in. I'm gonna do them. I'm not doing big corners. I'm not doing any really six foot level work. I'm probably gonna bring it just as a straight edge for things, but I'm gonna do it all with a six foot level, uh, all with a four foot level. Uh, and just a box of tools and my fits bricks. Um, this is what I was talking to Richard about ages ago, basically showing people that you don't need all this fancy 250 quid, 300 pounds worth of blakes or profiles or whatever to build an house in pretty good time frame and in pretty good money. Um, you know, obviously profiles are the place the quicker, but as you've seen, I don't get to site earlier than I get the gobbo. So, anyway, I know this has been a bit of a long part of the video, but I need to explain a few things. Um, and yeah, I'll come back with another tip at the end of the video, another intermission, and I'll show you guys a cool way to joint your block work and an, an essential for when you're using concrete bricks, how to point them nice and smooth. Right, see you in the next clip.
gobbo, darling. No, come on, get some gobbo. Have it. <laughs> it's just there. It's only there. Where? Because I'm going to have to cut it out, I don't want to have to edit it. What? I don't have to edit me getting gummo. Why? Why would you have to edit it? Because you... YouTube will have a go at you. me blocks. It's flown. Shut up. I got two tips off in Jamie Dean. No, by one. By one o'clock. At one o'clock. In two to nine. I, I had eight cores on bow, but I'd had, I had two big corners already built. No, yeah, no, one with profile on, two corners built. Eight cores each side. But I would go like a fucking idiot. I won't work in this slot. Sticking this gum out, so. On working. What? I don't want to carry on working.
squats on dillies shaped as trowels. Why is it not working box? It's tight joints, I think. I really like what travel dillies. <laughs> Should have fixed that to it. Took me that long, is it? Just took a piss out of me.
Tosser! Sick of this fucking air! Fucking hell, I can't fucking move my camera without fucking pulling my hair out! <laughs> and who do it for me? Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Rick Lane vlog. Part of the back of the voiceover part of the video. Uh, I tend to do these towards the tail end so the people don't get put off by my ramblings. But if you've made it this far and you're a regular viewer, thank you very much for your time. Um, you know, it's a lot to watch a 20, 30 minute video that I upload, so really appreciate it. And if um, if you could just hit the like button uh, while you're thinking about it, uh, I'd like to try and get 60 likes on this video. My last video did really, really well. I don't ever get that sort of views or attention on a video, so... Uh, I was over the moon with that. Thank you very much for the support. <clears throat> anyway, back to the job at hand. So, I want a pair of semis again. Identical to <clears throat> the ones I did before, about two months ago. I was looking at my channel, but it's a bit deceiving. It says two months, but it's not really two months. It's like more like three, because it just counts to the nearest yeah, month uh, backwards. So... 
Uh, that's what it says on the YouTube timeline anyway. Um, so we've done things a little bit different. Um, I changed the way I built these houses just because of how much, how many fiddly pillars there were in them when it comes to the the reveals that the the cavity it's like a cavity closer but it's a built cavity closer so it's not uh, a former and it's not an, a reveal block it's a it's a built in closed cavity so it takes you know more cuts on a court you know when you get to the end um you know up a reveal on block work instead of it just being one cut to the corner it's now th two or if it's a piece it's three so um you know it makes a lot more cuts so I found it slowed me down a lot uh, when I did the brickwork first, having to do the block work afterwards because of because I just didn't have any of it built. You know, it's just starting from the ground up. Uh, whereas now they're very keen for obviously the blocks being pointed at the back. Uh, I used to do this even when I did the brickwork first, but obviously I didn't you couldn't see that everything was completely full, and they want you know all your blocks you know scraped off nice and neat like face work all the time so. It's easier to make a good attempt at it, you know, um, when you first get the shell up, you can just walk around it, seal the watt work and just make sure it's all neat and tidy. Um, yeah, the keen, a lot of sites are keen on these, any blocks that have a key on them, like these thermalites do that you've seen, you can see in the background, they have a, a really thick key on them, a deep key, you know, that obviously they're designed for you to plaster straight onto them. Um, they want them scraping, they, they don't want, they don't want, you know, the where I've smudged the block at the back where I show I've got a full joint and then I joint it they want all that scraped off they want it all like face work or every side not just at the side you're walling at um so yeah I was going around sending well I sent Mel around scraping all my blocks off the day after because I used to bro I used to brush block work but it's it's completely unnecessary and it's something that you know it's just going to get scraped by a, by a plaster and you know plasterboard is straight over so having to brush it brushing your block work is just an extra step you know and a lot of the time you know you need a really stiff brush to do it and it's just another step that you can you can just do without you know so I trowel off I trowel off on all the block work when it's gone off a little bit uh, I send Mel around doing that it's a lot better than brushing it you can brush it when it's wet but I don't know I, I don't I don't do it so um yeah, um, so I got obviously I did both gables first uh, on the on the thermal light work, and then I did the back and front on the second day. Uh, but it was there's not many blocks in the back and front, and it was really windy on that day. Probably the worst idea. But building block work when it's windy, any sort of block work's a bad idea. So you know I was determined to do something, so I just did something that was least sort of you know block intensive, and then. Today, doing the concrete block work, I just I already had a six course corner up at one side, uh, you know, at one side of the house, at the front of the house. So, I uh, I just built two six course corners um, and filled in those a little bit of thermalite work on them back pillars, and then I took one side up five and one side up six. So, you know, I got quite a few blocks in there today, probably about two hundred, about two hundred blocks, something like that. Um, we were done for one o'clock because we had to go get Archer from nursery. Uh, it wasn't booked in for a full day. We forgot about that. So I was wanting to get all the brickwork loaded, ready for Monday on that gable that's next to the other house because there's another gang. Uh, it was their labourer loading up today, so I wanted to make sure I built that gable first so we didn't get in each other's way. But looking at the, the gap between the houses, there's enough for two gangs to load out and build next to each other. So... There's no no big issue there, you know. Um, I'm sometimes I sometimes even stack my bricks in six instead of twelves, uh, just so they're the higher, and then you know Mel just keep stuck topping them up. Uh, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit easier, um, you know, than having you know twelves and twelves are better because you can just stack them in twelves and then you can turn them to sixes after they get too low. Which is the idea, um, but if you need, if you if you've got, you know, if you tight on space, sixes is ideal. Um, so yeah, we didn't have time to load those out, but we're gonna do that on Monday. Uh, and then these th these concrete blocks, you know, they you know present a lot of issues. There's probably no good way to stop embellying, um, other than just going at like three or four course max at a time, 
And it isn't very good to do that because then when you go to do, you know, the three or four course or five course on top of that, that becomes wobbly as well. So if you could try and knock out five course in one go, you've only got four to wall plate then. And that normally isn't too bad. You you know, they won't be able to belly too bad on you at four course. But I, tr- I knocked out six at this side and five at the other. I didn't have any much issues at one side with bellying. This side, it was trying to go a little bit. But I, I, I wedged a shit ton of blocks up against it to get it all straight again, and you know it's just to stop it, stop them, stop it taking that that little kink at the bottom. It tries to kink at the bottom, I find, because the more you tap at the top, the accumulative weight of all the blocks tries to, to it tries to kink out on you, you know, by like five, ten mil. Um, but you know, it's one of them things. It's normally it's normally by like five mil. A lot of gangs don't even you know like oh fuck it, you know, carry on. But you've got to keep on top of it, be aware, because that 5, 10 mil could turn into 20, 30, and then the one in fucking party wall down, you know, so, um, you know, you've got to keep on top of stuff like that, you can't just keep building if you see it kinking, you got to stop and prop it, stop and fucking, you know, build something else, so, um, you know, that's what you got to watch out for, it's just, you know, um, I always recommend setting your first course out first, I didn't do that on this one, obviously, because of the time constraints of the previous day, um uh but that's one way to avoid it just you know time you know set your first course out and you you can a lot of the time you can stop that lower course belly in um if you try and take it up in a full day like i did you, you know you still might get a little bit depending how you just how wet the block so if you've got dry blocks you've got a chance but you know as, as long as you set your first course out you shouldn't you should eliminate that bottom bottom kinkage um so yeah, I got Mel spreading again. She, you know, she's working. She's easing her way back into it. She did two days this week. Uh, she's gonna be doing three next week or four. So she's easing her way back in. Uh, we're into a new routine with Archer and the, with his nursery and stuff. So she'll be probably having every Friday off, and then she'll be working four days in the week. So it suits me to be honest. Fridays are one of them days where. I always used to work solo Fridays with the old man because he never did five days. He always did four. And I could really, you know, on a Friday, if I was feeling knackered, I'd just get off at 12. If I was feeling good and I wanted to smash a load of work in, I'd just work till, you know, 4.30 or something like that. On a Friday, I'd be last on site. But, you know, you can earn some good money. So you've seen how on the last video, what sort of money you can earn if everything's loaded um you know in front a lot of the time it's getting your odd carrier in front loading you out and if he's having a day off or he's got to go somewhere and he's not in and you left solo on a day you ain't got to panic you know what a, a lot of uh you know got bricklayers on their own or or even you know two and one gang two and one gangs if the labor doesn't turn up one day they you know they feel a bit lost but you've got to be organized in yourself and you know and um not rely on your labor some pe- some gangs have fucking awesome laborers and this and they're so reliant on them and they they don't realize that without that labor they're just they're a bit they're a bit of uh, a loss so if you can become super efficient within yourself and know uh, you know, be organised within yourself and not have to always rely on someone. You can still make mo- make a lot of money no matter what the situation. And um, it's more for young, it's more for younger guys out there, and and you know, guys of my age as well. Like I haven't dropped on a good labourer yet. Um, I haven't found a good labourer. I've got Mel. She helps me out three days a week, but I won't call her a proper labourer because she's on the trowel as well. So, you know, it's not like she's getting all the gear. She's on the trowel as well some of the time. So. You know, but I've not found like a super labourer uh, that you know that'll uh, get me everything to you know to hand. But you know, um, so I have to rely on my fucking organisation to make things easy, not someone running about like a blue ass fly. So um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we got this up. We got, got we got this up. You can see, um, you know, nice early flyer flyer finish for Friday. Um, I wanted to stay, but I couldn't because of the nursery situation but um next week it's gonna give a good a good forecast so everyone rest up this weekend and uh you know if you've had a bad week this week a lot of things can cause a bad week you know like i've not had an amazing one with it losing a day you know uh guys leave a lot of guys if you're moving firms and stuff and uh you know you're in trouble getting your money or whatever you know never fear there's another week coming make your money in that week um you know 
there's all sorts of things that can fuck your week up. I've had some really bad weeks in the past, but, you know, since I've been on YouTube, most of them have been good. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, thank you very much for your time, as always. I uh, appreciate it. I uh, hope everyone has um, a nice, relaxing weekend. I hope everyone has a good swill. I'm having some. I'm back on the dark fruit. I'm drinking uh, strong brew dark fruit again. That's my drinker's choice. I've gone back to drinking a bit of cider. I sometimes mix it up. I've been drinking lager for ages. Then I'll go to a bit of bitter, a bit of cider. And I had a I had prosecco last Sunday. Uh, that obviously made made me rough for Monday's video. Video, but uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So the video has progressed quite a bit from now, from when I last spoke to you. Well, I'm just doing this clip straight up. So, how to make a good job of brickwork. Sponge. These sponges are 59 pence from Home Bargains. Try them out. They're not always great for concrete bricks. They do work if your bricks have gone off enough. So, you know, bear in mind they are good other than that. A stiff brush the day after work so sort of the brush that you brush the floor with get that on your bricks um, the day after it, it brings them up pretty nice with the concrete also clean jointer so a lot of guys use this for jointing block work the thick the thick barrel what you want to be using is these two ideally this one sometimes this one this that is about 10 mil ish and on a thermalite block you can get deep into that joint almost like a bit of a recess and a lot of the time as long as you're putting full perps on there you're going to be able to point it a lot easier than using this this is going to leave gaps it's going to look like your, your block work isn't pointed right it's a little tip i've seen a few people do it out there but no one's made a video telling you why they're doing it that's the theory behind it a small barrel gets right into that joint and makes it look like a full joint even though you're resetting it a bit it looks it looks full it looks pointed that's what they want to see especially if on the back you know if you want to take your time on the face side and you know do a really really neat job if you've done some really good block work you know be my guest but on the back it's quick it looks full so that's why I use this one uh, you know the dry box we're using the thermal lights top light blocks probably the driest thermalite out there they have a lot of um, plaster grooves on plastering grooves on the front the keyed they call it a key you know they're designed you can plaster straight onto them because of the plaster will key to them you know they're a nightmare to join they're a nightmare to cut because there's lines all over them but you know it's a little tip for jointing them and then on your concrete bricks well clean joint and nice and smooth you know you don't want it wearing here or this will show in your joints uh, you don't want it rusty or anything or any like chips in it or a lot of showing your joints so make sure you've got a nice clean joint and keep it clean 
if you're doing any concrete brick work because you a lot of the time the joints are wet when you're striking them so you want to keep them nice and smooth and it'll give it a nice finish when it goes off and you can if you want to give it a rough brush take off them sharp edges it'll still maintain your nice you know your nice shiny finish because a lot of the time in this time of year autumn winter and you don't have the uh, luxury of it pointing it when it's going off so um, you know just a little tip there so anyway guys enjoy the rest of the video so yeah that's the uh, that's the video I got them Connie that those walls up one side six one side five I wouldn't recommend you know probably going more than like three or four course at a time it can tend to belly underneath that's why you need to make sure your first course of blocks you know nice and plumb um but yeah i i got five course on one side and i should have really just done maybe three or four on the other side but it just depends how the how the wall's running sometimes they'll try and belly sometimes they won't so to to stop it happening every three or four course every basically every three course stack your some connie blocks as you saw me do with the, the thermalites, like a cross hatch, and it'll just stop any sort of bellying onto the line. Um, it, what it what the wall tends to want to do is you lay a block, and it'll kick out. You know, it'll kick out at the bottom, and you'll tap. The more downward force you tap, it bellies out. So they are they are they're just they're a bit of a nightmare. Concrete blocks. Um, Probably thermalites are easier to lay. They're easier to lay. The the six, the ones I'm using are a bit funky because gobbo sticks to them. Um, I always get pulled for being gobble on the blocks, and you, you can only scrape them up about a day later. So I got a pull for that. The the one in the blocks like brushing, like face work blocks. So so I sent Mel round, um, give them a scrape. But you can easily lose them like we were doing. We were trying to point really hard on the on the thermalite work. Uh, yesterday, and we and I lost it. You know, well, I almost lost it. I didn't. Uh, so yeah, um, I didn't get a chance to load them bricks out. I was going to spend half an hour loading out, but Mel said we need to get off because Archer was only booked in for half day nursery. We got here late anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I would have wanted to get those done, but as you can see, the, the Connie's knocked the fuck out of me today. I don't know why I'm fucking. I feel so flushed, but yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, it's been a decent week considering we lost Tuesday. And we had half a day today, because um, I normally work full day on a Friday. But, <clears throat> you know, can't overdo it, especially if you're a one-on-one. -on -one. Even as a, even in a two-on-one, -on -one, you know, if one's pulling more of the weight and you feel like you're overdoing it, you've, you've got to vote, you've got to try and, you know, steady down. If one's wanting to do all the hours, but's going, what's working rock steady, and you're flying them in, you know, you've got to steady it down. So, right. um yeah guys, so uh, I'm going to try, if my trial handle's arrived for my tie zack, I'm going to show a video of me re-handling it, um, just with some epoxy. Uh, the handle I've got, the only thing that's wrong with it on that plastic tie zack, because I don't like the chubby wooden ones, because they're too small, they're not long enough. Um, that's what I'll ask this. <laughs> no. um, the, uh, I don't like them because I can't, I always adjust in my grip, I don't don't find the big enough for my hands I've got quite big fucking long spindly fingers so I could I'm gonna put a Marshall wooden Marshall tan handle on it so you know I don't know I like I like that little bit of metal that's round the round you know that was round my leather hand, my leather handle Spear and Jackson I could you I could take the, the handle off that because I've got it but I'm not sure I'm in two minds. I'm going to feel the handles and I might take the handle off that. And uh, yeah, see how it looks. So, Anyway guys, um, thanks so much for the support on the last video. Uh, the 50 quid an hour video. Uh, it's a bit of a clickbaity thumbnail, but it, it's true. It's true, you can earn that money on, on occasion when you're on the straight runs of brickwork and stuff like that. You can earn more than that. Um, but... Uh, thanks a lot for the support. We got almost 100 likes on it. I asked for 50. I got double. So um, thanks so much. Um, so this video, if we can try it, 60 likes, that'd be amazing. It probably won't happen, 
but we'll see, you know. So yeah, anyway guys, uh, tune in for Monday, Mal's going to be with me, uh, most of the week I think, at least four days, but she might be able to do, she might do three, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how the weather goes, um, but yeah, um, it's, it helps a lot having someone with you, I'll tell you what, it's been a killer these last two weeks working solo, um, yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.